Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about a tricky horizontal asymptote type of problem uh, that's been on a couple of the released multiple choice exams for the AP exam. Um, and so let's take a look at it. So the problem basically looks like find the horizontal asymptotes of f of x equals nine minus three to the x over four plus six to the x. Um, it's usually some kind of exponential over exponential. And uh, the reason I think people find this tricky is that uh, that is not a rational function, right? It's not a polynomial divided by a polynomial. If you have a polynomial divided by a polynomial, that's a rational function. It can only have one horizontal asymptote. This is not rational, so it could actually have more than one. It could have two. Um, and so what we really need to do on this problem is uh, we need to look at the limit as x approaches infinity of this thing but we also, because it could have two different horizontal asymptotes, we also are gonna to need to look at the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x. So we're gonna look at both of those, and if they don't give the same result, then maybe there's more than one, well, if they don't give the same result, there's two horizontal asymptotes, unless we get infinity or negative infinity. Um, so let's do the problem and find out. So initially, we're gonna look at the limit as x approaches infinity of nine minus three to the x over four plus six to the x. So uh, if you just kind of think about it, uh, nine minus three to the x, so three to the x as x goes to infinity is definitely infinite. So this is nine minus an infinite value. So it's negative infinity on the top. Four plus six to the x uh, goes to positive infinity. So if you're doing this uh, and you've learned L'Hopital's rule, you have negative infinity over infinity. That's a L'Hopital situation. So I'm gonna use L'Hopital's rule I'm also gonna do this a different way, so if you haven't talked about L'Hopital's yet, don't worry about it. So it's gonna be equal to the derivative of the top over the limit as x approach infinity of the derivative of the top over the, the derivative of uh, the bottom. So the derivative of the top, the derivative of nine is zero. So it's gonna be uh, minus, and then it's three to the x times the natural log of three. So the derivative of a to the x is a to the x times the natural log of a. So here we're getting uh, negative, and then three to the x, natural log of three, divided by the derivative of four is zero. The derivative of six to the x is gonna be six to the x times the natural log of six. And uh, this is actually still, if you look at it, going to give us uh, negative infinity over infinity, but we can kind of work on this a little bit. So I'm gonna take everything that's a constant and just kind of factor it out. So uh, we have this, not factor it out, just kind of like group it. And then I have three to the x over six to the x, which is three over six to the x. So I can use the property that uh, if, I have, uh, if I'm dividing and they have the same exponent, I can bring them all under one parentheses. So that's what I've done. And then three over six to the x is the same as one half to the x. And if you think about that, as x goes to infinity, that's like uh, one half, one fourth, one eighth. It's getting smaller as x goes to infinity. So this is actually just gonna give us zero. And that means that y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote. But if you don't know L'Hopital's rule, um, or you don't think to use L'Hopital's rule, we can actually do this a slightly different way. Uh, the way that I usually deal with um, limits at infinity is I try to divide through by the highest powered thing in the denominator. So in this case, the highest powered thing, um, or the dominant term, would be six to the x. So I'm actually gonna go through, divide everything I see by six to the x. So I'm gonna get nine over six to the x, and then minus three to the x over six to the x, and then all over, it's gonna be four over six to the x, and then plus six to the x over six to the x. So the reason you wanna use the highest powered thing in the denominator or the dominant term is that it guarantees you um, that you're gonna get a number in the, de uh, a non-zero number in the denominator. Um, so you'll be able to work out what's happening. So let's think about this. So we can rewrite this a little bit more again. So it's nine over six to the x. And then I'm gonna use the same thing here. So it's minus the quantity one half to the x, and then over four over six to the x, and then plus one. So if you look at that, nine divided by six to the x, if x is going to infinity, that's nine divided by infinity, that's definitely zero. We already talked about one half to the x, that's also zero. Four over six to the x is the same as nine over six to the x, so zero. And then the one doesn't have an x, so it just stays one. So we really have just zero over one, which is zero. So we get the answer either way. But then I usually wanna summarize. So um, since the limit as x approaches infinity of nine minus three to the x over four plus six to the x is zero, 
we know that y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote. Specifically, it's a horizontal asymptote as we go to positive infinity, but something different could happen as we go to negative infinity, so let's figure out that limit as well. So we wanna figure out this limit. So when I look at this, I immediately think I should probably consider what the graph looks like. So I'm gonna think about graphs for this. And to do that, so we have this and this, and we're gonna look at y equals a to the x. So that just looks like kind of a generic exponential. It's a really good idea to know what a generic exponential graph looks like, um, always increasing. Uh, and it has these two specific limits that are useful when you're taking limits. So in particular for this, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of a to the x is gonna be zero because of that horizontal asymptote. If we went to positive infinity, we'd get infinity, which we've actually kind of thought about in the previous part. So we have what the graph looks like. And now if you think about the limit that we're dealing with, so nine doesn't have an x in it. So when you go to infinity, negative infinity, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just gonna stay nine. The three to the x is an exponential. So if I go to negative infinity, that's just gonna go to zero. So it's minus zero over four also doesn't have an x in it. So uh, you take the limit as x approaches whatever, it doesn't matter, it's just gonna give you four. And then six to the x is gonna go to zero because it's a general, it's an exponential. So we get that, so that cleans up to nine over four. So it turns out the one that everyone forgets is the limit as you go to negative infinity, it's actually much easier to find that limit. So we find this and then we just kind of summarize. So since the limit as x approaches negative infinity of nine minus three to the x over four plus six to the x is nine fourths, we know that y equals nine fourths is also a horizontal asymptote. So this function actually has two horizontal asymptotes. Everyone pretty much forgets to go to negative infinity um, which is why it's kind of a tricky question, but it's not really tricky. You just have to remember, if you're not dealing with a rational, uh, a rational function, you've got to consider infinity and negative infinity. Rational functions can only have one horizontal asymptote. So in that case, you can kind of just go to positive infinity. It's actually safer to go to both positive and negative all the time, um, but that is a rule that you could use. So let's take a quick look at just the graph of this. I use my calculator. Um, and you can see that it actually does have two horizontal asymptotes, one to positive infinity and one to negative infinity. Um, so it's kind of tricky, but it doesn't need to be if you just think about all the cases. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.